How's it going everyone? It is Marvel Z here and welcome back to Undertale and probably the last part of Undertale. Not sure. So I'm gonna do what Flowey told us to do, which was to go visit Undyne. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go visit Undyne and see what he was talking about. He kept saying that he didn't change and all of that, but he did. He did change. Showing mercy to him did something. It wasn't completely useless. That's why he gave us that little hint. I'm pretty sure about that. But he said that Undyne could have the key for my true happiness. I guess. So, we're gonna see how that goes. I'll see you guys when I get there. <laughs> oh, Muffet. There you are, theory. You are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on our on your best behavior. Wee hee hee hee. Okay, I'll be a good boy. Girl. Thing. I still don't know what we are, if we're a boy or a girl. I, I think that's the point of the developer. It's that we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs of pants today. A few more pairs? How many pairs are you wearing? <laughs> Who the hell are you? Bah! Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in that actionary. Mindless schlock. It's just timing based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You! You're young. You still got hope. Gehehe. <laughs> Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. Okay. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah! Forget it. This generation is really hopeless. What do you mean I'm pushing it all wrong? Bah! Bah! <laughs> okay, there we go. So, which one was it? Was it this one? No, this is Naps. Hey, Naps. Uh, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Okay. Anyway, let's go see the other one. It's locked. Uh, Pyrus. Ring, ring. Oh! That's the house of um, Undyne's neighbor. What was their name again? Spooky Blue Blue? <laughs> Spooky Blue Blue. Wait, but how do I go visit Undyne then? Without Papyrus. Uh... Oh, there you are. This is Undyne's. What? 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 It's a living. Okay. Hi, Papyrus. Oh-ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. That's a cool door, though. <laughs> Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Okay. You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> we, you broke her, Papyrus. Look at what you've done. Why don't you two come in? <laughs> he was all excited. <laughs> okay. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You did have fun. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate, humiliate, humiliate me even further. English breaking again, as usual. Is that it? No. And why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. Yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! <laughs> what? Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? <laughs> Papyrus, wait a second. <laughs> Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... BESTIES! <laughs> I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Okay! <laughs> Thanks, Papyrus. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans welded the swords up to 10 times their size. Uh, that's more like guts from Berserk or some, some shit like that. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. False. You liar. <laughs> I read half his human history book collection. She has comics. <laughs> comics, dude. They're not accurate. Again, like Berserker Guts shit. He has a giant sword. It, and it's still like his size. It's not way bigger than him. The Dragon Slayer, I think that's the name. I know all about your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robots. No, dude, really. Sorry, something on my phone. Your supernatural princesses. Nope. Heh! <laughs> There's no way you're gonna fool me! You're fooling yourself. Sit down and pro progress. Uh, no. Just a second. Check the piano. One time, Alphys, a uh, friend, came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Was that Metadon? <laughs> uh, in the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, Nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Look inside the bone drawer. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, penny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Not something you put in your drawer. I hate cold food. So Elf has fixed up my fridge so it's it heat up food inst instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention. Yeah, well, it's cool. You wanna see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. <laughs> well, maybe some nerds. Uh, it's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Okay. Sit down. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. going way better than expected. All set. 
What would you like? Um, oh, hey, don't get up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point out what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and select with Z. Uh, sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Tea box, blankly correct choice. Blade in the... Uh, okay. Tea, huh? Coming right up? Okay. I'll take a moment for it'll take a moment for the world water to boil. Okay. We'll wait. Ta -da. Okay, it's all done. <laughs> Love the noise. The table is kind of broken. Here we are. How doesn't it slide off? <laughs> Truth. Careful, it's hot. Okay. Oh. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. <laughs> um. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. Okay. You know, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Once... To prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. <laughs> I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to f train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Yeah. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty fr freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean... Look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He gets ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Poor Papyrus, though. But I understand. Wait a second. Papyrus! He's cooking lesson! He was supposed to have that right now! <laughs> and if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, 
We'll become closer fr closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? <laughs> We're gonna be the best friends. Holy shit, she's just grabbing me by the head. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Whoa. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong, wimpy. Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over the tomato. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. <laughs> Now it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, well, just scrape this into a bowl later. <laughs> we'll... But for now... <laughs> we had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just put them in the pot. Will you put them in... in Fiercely? Or careful. Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. <laughs> it clanks against the empty bottom. <laughs> yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it! Press E repeatedly to steer. Steer harder! Doing harder! Harder! <laughs> I can't go any faster than this. Ah, let me do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hold right. Okay. Hotter! It's getting harder! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! <laughs> Wait! That's too... Yeah, I assumed. What happened? Oops. <laughs> Ah, man, no wonder Papaya sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Your house is on fire. Oh, <laughs> she's all burnt. <laughs> uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. But I want to be your friend. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah. It's letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at and nine with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid Sasharine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminds me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Heart. Hurt. <laughs> Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I 
I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human soul, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. <laughs> That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Shit. Well, that was fun, huh? <laughs> we'll have to hang out again another time. But, um, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you... Hey, wait. Your inventory is full. Uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus. Come see me when you have less stuff. Oh, she had something for me. I want to see what it is. Uh, wait, my inventory is full of stuff? Since when? Do I have a lot of... Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, junk food. <laughs> wait, uh, sorry. I was almost quitting. Uh, oh, put the mouse in the way. There we go. Uh, sell. Uh, dimensional box. There we go. Let's go to Snowden then. Throw the locker for a raid. Snowden. And we're off. Well, I remember to take a break every so often. Okay. Come again sometime. Oh, well. There they are. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um... Well... <laughs> it's kind of personal. But we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't wanna have to go over there. So, here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. Oh. And if you read it... I'll kill you. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. You're the best. Hi, Papyrus. And then writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them at herself, she always quits. So she can go back to she she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Thanks. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Yeah, that's why he has it. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, I was expecting to just, you know, do it all up to the uh, up to the end. But since I still have to go visit Alphys and we're gonna, I'm gonna have to fight everyone all over again and all of that. I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. But yeah, this was, was a, actually a fun episode. I thought it was gonna be more serious. Uh, it only shifted to seriousness for a little bit when she was talking, but all in all it was fun, so Undyne isn't that bad, actually. So, that's cool. But yeah, thanks you- thank- But yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys on my next video. So until then, see ya!